Most of Mississippi would have bet their bottom dollar on the University of Mississippi Medical Center swooping in and saving Greenwood LaFleur Hospital. But no one expected the needs of the community and the demands of UMMC to clash the way they apparently did in terms of the proposal and the proposed lease. As the Taxpayers Channel and the Delta News reported, the documents surrounding the deal were kept a top secret, with Chancery Clerk Johnny Gary never acting on a public records request filed more than four months ago in apparent violation of state law. The Taxpayers Channel finally obtained the documents through other means, and some say they tell a story of doom from the start. Let's start with the demands of the so-called RFP, the requirements the city and the county wanted from bidders. They insisted on a continuation of acute care beds, rehab, surgery, and emergency room services unless the governments agreed to reduce services. UMMC fired back it would only offer services that were financially viable and at UMMC's sole discretion. For its part, UMMC would only pay enough rent to cover insurance on the property. Other issues in what many call a bad deal include no job guarantees for any current employees, a short-term 10-year lease only, no assumption of hospital debts and liabilities, no coverage for current pension plan underfunding, no liability indemnity for city, county, or hospital officials, and no proposed improvements or service lines. No wonder LaFleur County supervisors refused to put UMMC's name on a letter of credit to pay for building repairs and pay back a federal loan. It long looked like supervisors knew something they weren't telling, and now we know they did. The documents obtained by the Taxpayers Channel represent an early draft of the deal, and subsequent drafts no doubt contain several changes. But the documents uncovered here certainly show why so many acted like this was a bad deal from the start. Dennis Turner, The Delta News.